Hello, everybody, and welcome to another episode I'm of Nick's Mower. Come the little Riley boy here. You need a haircut, big yeah, time. Yeah. We're still in lockdown, and uh, Riley boy is uh, is waiting to have his uh, have his hair his hair cut. Mrs. Peace, I'll just brush it for you. I said I wouldn't bother. Um, it's uh, <laughs> you're ready to go. Look at look at all this hair. Look, look, loads here. Look, you have it cut. You have it cut. Maybe cut, get cut like daddy's. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you look great. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Let's do it, mummy. Go nuts. Yeah. <laughs> right, welcome to Mixed Mowers, and uh, in today's video, we're going to be testing this bit of kit out here. Uh, which I purchased. It's brand new, but it was um, second hand. Someone's bought it um, and not used it at all, full stop. Um, and it's, it's been out of the box only for inspection purposes. And I've got a feeling they bought it for the same reason I have, but they have sold it because it doesn't fit their machine. And I'm going to show you a little hack on how to make it fit. So this is, it's called an Expand It. That's the name of a company. And they do multiple, multiple heads that fit onto your strimmer. So this is actually a tiller head. They do all sorts of different bits and pieces. Um, not a rotavator, a little, a little um, garden scratcher, as uh, Terrell calls it. Um, so it, they say it fits on most strimmers. However, I am nearly convinced, 100%, it will not fit on my Titan. It's too heavy. Uh, no, not too heavy. But um, I believe the fellow who bought this bought it for the same reason as me, but he it's sold heavy. it because um, he can't get it to fit on his machine. So I paid half price, on, uh, under half price of what um, these cost brand new. They go for about 100, 179 pounds brand new. Um, I paid, uh, this is for my own use, I paid uh, about 50 quid for this, so uh, super happy. If this is the first time I'm watching Mixed Mowers, hit the subscribe button, whack your bell. Ding! That way you'll be told one done a video or two, I've done my wiki um, live stream on Saturday night, which is like 6 30 pm UK time. So without further ado, let's get down dirty and let's try and fit this little tiny extended tiller to my strimmer. Right, so let's get this little parcel open. That's number one, what we can do. Oh, let me get a sharp knife. What? Let me get a knife. Sharp! Yeah, we are sharp, because I need this, because um, I was around my old man's last week, um, obviously keeping distance, uh, but I pulled a hedge out for him. He got an old, an old spiky Japanese hedge there, he wanted that out. So, um, he's, now gonna, he's now gonna put in a, uh, a New Zealand broadleaf. What's your shy? Packaging. <laughs> so, I can now slide this out. I might have, I might have done it the wrong way, don't you know? Call me an engineer. Uh, where's the box? Oh, I'll run the wood. Wire at the bottom, innit? Um, let's undo this end. I can always re retape it back up, can't I? Later on. So it's been duct taped up, but you'll see in a minute. It's, uh, it's brown, far and new. Right, that's better. Okay. Can you, well, can you see me? Can you see me now? Where? Hang on, I'll show you in a minute. Let's take this out. Where? Hang on, hang on, buddy. Let's take it out. Right, oh, look at me now. Can you see me now? Oh, yeah. Oh, here he is. Right, so let's slide this out. There's a tiller. Anything else in there, right, boy? Yeah. Hang on, there's more bits in there. Come on. That's it. Okay, let's get rid of the old packaging for now. Okay. Let me grab my stool. Ready? Hang on, buddy. Let me grab my old stool. Yeah. Yeah, you're awesome. Hey, no, don't. No, 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 that's just instructions. Daddy doesn't need instructions. Okay, you know what? Go see mummy. I'll see you a bit later on, eh? Be a good boy. Bye, guys. Right. So here's a little tiller. As you can see, no, no, nowhere at all on these blades at all. Brand fire and new. I'm just checking for a grease port. Is what I'm checking for. See, if, see if there's a grease port on it, and I'm not seeing one at all. Which is sort of concerning, because you think there would be a grease port in there, wouldn't you? There is grease on the axle, that I can see. You might have to split the axle to, to grease it manually. That's a shame, isn't it? You think they'd do that? So it's four bolts up the top. One, two, three, four. Then that comes away. Then you should be able to split the gearbox to pack it with grease. But anyway, it's brown, far and new. Uh, don't, you know, don't you know instructions? So the, the, the idea is, is this will fit straight onto your strimmer uh, attachment, okay? Or your, your strimmer head. Now I've got, my, I've got, I've got. In fact, I've got several strimmers, but I've got this one here. Now this one here, I winterized last year, and it's not been started um, since like, since 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 the winter. So I have just put petrol in it. Uh, 41 mix. This is my Titan, and it's brand new last year, 
And uh, as you know, I, made, I did a, um, a winterization video on how to winterize your kit and showed you how to winterize your two, two stroke stuff. I know it's open to interpretation, some people don't do it. It's your choice. I'm not saying you got to do what I do. I'm saying this is how I do it. So uh, we'll get a prime. We'll put it on to choke, we'll turn it on, see how we get on. There you go. So that winterization works, okay? What well, does in my eyes. Now, what we've got to do is now we've got to fit this attachment onto the end of me of me uh, my strewer. Now you, you think, okay, Mick, that's an easy video. Why are you bothering? Well, the easy answer is is that you have a little tiny metal clip. Let me show you a little tiny metal clip just here. Okay, well there's nowhere for that to go, and you've got a hole here, which is at the top of the machine. But my my, my um, hole punch is on is on the side, so it don't actually fit. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you it don't fit. So it's the same same shaft, both square shafts. Yeah, happy with that. We can now fit this onto there. All right, that goes on. But as I say, that button on the side there, it, it, uh, that, that don't fit no more. See, so I, I can't get that to go any more than than what that is. So I think that's the reason why this fella sold it. Now it will go if I do it that way. It will lock into place somewhere in there. But apart from that, that, that's as far as it as far as it wants to go. Okay, so I've got a feeling that's why this gentleman um, got rid of it. He bought it brand new, and it don't fit. So I'm going to show you how to uh, to work around that issue. Okay. Now the first thing you want to do is get rid of your strimmer. Don't need that. Just for a minute. Okay. So with these expanded bits, they come with this this little tiny. Um, uh, ball bearing style fitment here, okay? You want to take that out. So, almost so a little tiny metal plate with a drill. Now, I understand what you're going to say. Brand new bit of kit, Mick. Why bother if you've got to, if you've got to muck about with it? Well, they do claim it fits most bits of kit, but it don't fit the one I got, and I've got a feeling it didn't fit the one mate he's got either, okay? So, what we're going to do, we're going to find a drill bit that's going to be big enough just for that hole. It's going to be around about a size three and a half mil, something like that. And all I'm going to do is I'm going to drill out that little tiny bit on the side that holds on the clip. Let's do my drill up first, Mike. Mick might help. That's better. Right, I'm going to draw that out. There it goes, All right. So with that now drilled out, we can now get a pair of long nose pliers, long nose snipperizers, which I had earlier on, because I was doing a video on something else earlier. Uh, long nose pliers, reddens. I expect Bruce, I expect Bruce has nicked them. There they are. Uh, pair of long nose snips. I'm now gonna retrieve that little tiny bit to there like that, okay? That's the bit I've just taken out. So I don't need that. Right, next thing I do is most Titans, they come with an array of attachments, okay? Let me find my brush cutter attachment and I'll show you what I mean. Here it is. Not very well prepared today, but there you go. That's what Mixed Mars is all about. Okay. Right, now. This is the way it goes, okay? Like so, like so. Now, as I said, I've got a hole on the expanded bit on this side and on this side, but there's not one on this side. And on my Titan, the hole is on this side, okay? So if they would have drilled another hole this side, I'd have been, I'd been on them like a tramp on chips. I'd have been, yep, lovely, fantastic product. Does what it says on my tin, happy. So all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna measure the hole on this side and it's exactly uh, just over, it's about three quarters of an, just over three quarters of an inch, okay? So I'm gonna get my little tiny marker pen. There it is. I'm gonna double check again. Right on the left hand side. 
Uh, that, uh, yeah, happy with that. I'm gonna measure on this side, get my pen out. And I'm gonna measure exactly where it was on this side, right on the side, don't forget. It's a bit fiddly. So it's about two centimeters, two centimeters on the side. So that's two centimeters there, but I want it right on the side. So that's level. I want it to go about there. Happy with that. Okay, so now I've marked the hole on my existing Titan to coincide with um, the expanded bit. I'm going to get a punch, and my punches are a bit worn. I need to get myself a decent centre punch. I might get one of them spring loaded jobbies. There's one. I'll get a hammer. Not too big. And all I want to do is just mark where that is. That there. There. Oh, just about to whack it. And it moved. Okay, so now what I'm going to do, I'm now going to drill this, tip it up on its side, let's make sure we're getting this in shot, which you should be, yeah you are, I'm now going to get a nice sharp small bit, uh, let's go down to about that size, be alright, let's get my drill, I'm just going to pile it at first to make sure we're not running offside, that was three and a half mil wasn't it? My is right in the way. That's it. All right, where's me? Oh, where is it? I go careful because the shaft inside here. All right, quite a nice hole there now. So now what I want to do is get my Titan bit. And just like for like, measure up that hole. Too small. And again, next one up. Could go one more. Even bigger than that, maybe. That's tight. That's really tight. Oh, that goes. Yeah, we're happy with that. So now what I'm going to do is take my drill bit back out. And I'm now going to put through the correct size, which is actually going to be for about 5.5. Straight through the pilot hole that I pre-drilled. Happy with that. And then I want to get my little, little tiny magnet on a stick. Poke that up inside here and get all those little iron filings out. Out of the way, Shaft. That's a job. Just a job. And now that is actually lined up with the hole the other side. So we're happy with that. So now, if I pack away all my drill bits and stuff, because that should be now done with. So for 170 pounds, brand spanking new, you would like to think, if it says it fits it, it would do, right? And I think so many people have been caught out. And we do, look, the Expander is a fantastic firm. I'm not knocking them, they're a fantastic firm. In fact, I've actually got uh, a hedge cutter and a, uh, a leaf blower conversion that I've, used, that I've adapted in this same way. So that, that's how I, how, I over, how I overcome the problem. So I've already got two attachments already, which I've, I've got second hand, I've got from car boot sales and stuff like that for this product. So I'm well happy with it, with it already. So I'll get a little tiny bit of grease. More like a bit of grease, don't we? Just want to smear that 
not too much, that's about 35 million bits too much. Smear that on there, like so. That's that. Let's get a bit of a rag. One under you guys. So now we've got a hole on this side, which is where my strimmer attack, my strimmer head itself. Ooh, I have a pin on the left hand side. Just there, you see? And that pin is what locates your, your shaft in place. So now, by the power of grace goal, if I've drilled it and cut it right, that should now slide on, pull the pin out. There it goes. See, now it's locked into place. The pin is located. So now I've just got to put this nut and bolt back on, which came off earlier. Off my locking mechanism. Do that. As I say, I have got the leaf blower version of this as well, which I have to do exactly the same, and the hedge cutter as well, exactly the same. So now you've got your strimmer head with a tiller attachment on it, with the pin on the right side instead of on the on the left side. Um, so now it should all work. So let's take it outside. I've got a fresh bit of garden that has been dug over already, which needs to be tilled. I mean, hopefully this all works. I can take it down to my dad's house at the weekend and till his little bit of garden for his new hedge to go in. So I'll meet you outside in two ticks. Right, so I've got you all set up on the old camera. And um, you see that, that magnolia bush there, that's what me and Mrs. P did the other week and uh, dug it over and what have you. But let me, get, let me grab my strimmer. It's just in my shed here. Oh, I'll tell you something, it's improved the weight of it. I know that. Cool. You want to have arms like, like, like Arnie. So now, yeah, so now we've got a strimmer with a tiller attachment head on it, okay, which I'm hoping will, uh, will do a job. Now just bear in mind, it is a tiller on a 25cc engine, so if you're gonna gun it, you're gonna break it. It's as simple as that. So now let me fire this machine up, and hopefully the tines will spin. Let's have a little look. There you go. Now let's have a till. That saves your old back, doesn't it? We like that. Think of that. It's good, isn't it? So there you go. Hey, oh, I'll break it back up now. Yeah, now it's all been tilled. Yeah. So there you go. That's how you fit the expand it um, attachment to a Titan. So don't be frightened of buying one. Even at brand new price, just with two drills, it fits straight on there. Okay, so there you go. That's how you do the, um, the extended range adjustment for the Titans. Now, obviously, the Titans do differ as, as years have gone on, but I've always found that the, um, the extendable bits don't fit the Titan strimmer. Just by drilling out that little tiny hole to remove a little tiny ball bearing style catch, and then measuring about two centimeters center of hole down on the, as you look at the, the back of the machine, as you look at the back of the machine on the uh, left-hand side, um, measure two centimeters, center diameter hole, and about a 5.5 millimeter hole, straight through the side, sorted it. Now I've actually got 
here. I've got two attachments, and this is one I. It came as part of a job lot. I just just load load of old old. Um, this is a blower. A load of old old spares just thrown in, and that's all I done. Literally just drilled the hole that corresponds to the one on the other side. So that is now done as well. So now I've got a leaf blower from the trimmer as well. So I've got a trimmer, a uh, leaf blower, brush cutter, hedge trimmer, chainsaw, and now tiller, all in one bit of kit. And um, I'm super, super happy. If this is the first time I'm watching Mixed Mowers, hit the subscribe button, whack your bell, set notifications to all. That way you'll be top one done a video or two on my satellite wiki live stream, which starts at 6.30 p.m. UK time. I look forward to the next episode of Mixed Mowers very, very soon. But until then, people, don't forget, much more important, take it easy.